Endless sandy beaches, enormous cliffs rising up from the clear blue waters, Mediterranean climate, and fruit trees for miles make the Algarve a perfect destination all year round. With over 300 days of sunshine a year, it comes as no surprise why so many come to southern Portugal for vacation. I stayed in the sailing town of Portimo with cobble streets, an adorable small town surrounded by orange trees. With the gorgeous sunrise the next morning, I started my first adventure kayaking through the incredible caves. While there are a ton of beautiful Algarve caves, the Benegil Sea Cave in particular is one of the most visited spots and one you have to check off your bucket list while visiting Portugal. Though many caves and rock formations line the coast of the Algarve, the Benegil Cave is unique for its skylight in the cave ceiling and a sandy beach below with two different points of entry on the sides. The Benegil Cave is a natural cave formation. The history of the cave formation goes back about 20 million years. Over the years, the sea level sank while the cliffs moved upwards. Wind, rain, heat, and drought also contributed to the erosion of the layers of clay and sandstone inside the cave, and at some point, the ceiling collapsed. So we had a lot of piracy here in the south coastline, okay? And a lot of them used caves like this to hide themselves to do surprise attacks on ships that would be passing by. And as well, they would get off at the beaches and uh, attack the nearest by villages. After spending some time in the Benegil cave, we got back into our kayaks and for the next couple of hours, we explored several other caves. Some that were wicked dark with only one way in and others with narrow areas to go in and out. We were lucky to see these caves as it was low tide allowing us to enter. One thing I noticed in the other caves is that similar to the Benegil cave, the limestone is eroding and ceiling is collapsing although not as wide as the Benegil cave. We also kayaked by a couple of beaches that were recognized as the best in the world and kayaked by very tall rock formations that looked like different shapes. The water was warm, gorgeous, and I could have stayed out there in my kayak all day. After kayaking, I headed back to Portimo for coffee and lunch. Algarve was ruled by the North African Moors from 700 to 1200 AD. The impact of this area can be seen most in its architecture and tasted in its cuisine. After a quick cup of coffee, I walked around town and ended up at Taverna de Marie. It was the perfect casual lunch at one of, the, at one of Algarve's most famous spots. The decor of the place surrounded by history of Portimo and a significance to the area. The food, well, it was one of the best meals I've ever had. The seafood so fresh and authentic. If I lived here, I would be here every week. Then it was time to relax at the beach and watch one of the most gorgeous sunsets. The next morning, I drove my rental to the westernmost point of Portugal to the town of Sagres. Cabo de Sao, Vicente, or the end of the world, is the southwesternmost point of continental Europe. It's also where Europeans believe the earth ended back when they thought the world was flat. It's majestic and powerful and one of those places you could sit and stare into the tall cliffs and blue waters in total awe for hours. This area is also a total laid back surfer town. If you're a surfer, definitely spend some time here as there are some beaches with great breaks, although it can get pretty windy. After a quick photo at the lighthouse, I stopped by a ceramic tile store. You see them everywhere in this area and it's fun to stop in to see the creativity. On my last day, I walked from my cute Airbnb to first the fruit stand where I went every morning to pick what I would eat for the day. Portugal has some of the best fruit I've ever had. The taste is incredible. Then it was a day of relaxation at the beach. I walked along the gorgeous boardwalk to the carousel. It reminded me a lot of Santa Monica and then took the rest of the day to soak in all the beauty around me. On my walk back, there was of course the daily World Cup action on every TV. Go Portugal! 
Whether you're a surfer, beach lover, or an adventurer, this charming beach towns of the Algarve will absolutely steal your heart. I'm Nabil Kazi. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and like this vlog. Today is a gift. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. Get out and see the world. Make every day count.